everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube Editor's Perspective Podcast. Alright, so uh, sorry there was not an episode last week. I was gone on vacation. Apparently other people can't record it without me. <clears throat> it wasn't it at all. We were moving. <laughs> and our internet was crap. Moving I was now. Canadian. I was Canadian, so I have an excuse. He was tending <laughs> to his moose. <laughs> and my maple syrup trees that flow greatly through the streets of hockey season. They dance. They dance in the maple syrup. <laughs> they actually ice skate on it and play hockey. Come on now. <laughs> but, uh, so right now it is just, uh, Lone, Count Bros, and Subasa. Proceed might be coming in later. That he, is, he is currently... Uh, he's in a hotel visiting Kevin, who actually, I guess we could actually mention that too. Kevin today is graduating. Kevin owns Nerd Rage. He's been on our podcast a couple times. He's graduating from Navy Boot, so congratulations to Kev. Woot. And uh, he's going, I think, right into that. He's going into medic training, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, it proceeds there, and they also have, I guess, free drinks at the hotel he's at. So he was hammered last I checked. That was about two hours ago, so... We'll see if he comes on, and then if he's drunk, then you guys are in for a show. But, uh, for the most part, this episode is just going to be a lot of... Nothing! Bullshit. And, uh... We've got nothing okay. left. All right. <laughs> I got some, uh, articles here and there that I found. Starting, I found this... I forget who posted... Someone on Facebook posted it to me. I actually submitted it to Rooster Teeth, just because it's more or less deals with their area. But... There's the article right there. Because it's being tested in Austin, Texas, this thing. So, apparently, ah. they... <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> they are... Get out there! You get out there! People they are, need internet! They are attempting to start this project, whatever you want to call it, to make homeless people into mobile hotspots. <laughs> Wi-Fi hotspots. That's horrible. I mean, they're getting paid for it, though. But they're people. <laughs> I mean, would you rather them do nothing, though? But the thing is, this is very hard for me to put it. First off, I would just say this. Homeless people are smelly. <laughs> Wait, you're defending people? Yes, and that's what I'm saying. It's very you hard for me to You can't be on this. any type of debate. <laughs> I'd like to say that I am standing up on the wrong side. I am pulling the portion. Kill that baby. <laughs> I mean, most of the homeless people in the article are in support of it. They're saying it breaks the stereotype of they don't work and that they want to do it. It's not working. They're standing around and walking around with something on them. I mean, but think about it, though. Would <laughs> regular people want to do that? No. <laughs> How much are they getting paid? I do not know. It does not say. It just says that they're getting Probably paid. Probably not fucking enough. I can see regular people. They get paid people. a piece of thin sliced turkey. I can see regular people walking around with something on their belt or something. Or yeah. some type of utility belt. Yeah, while they're listening to their music or surfing the web themselves. Yeah. Or while they're yeah. on the bus or something. Yeah. This is what, <laughs> like, it says, uh... Talking, like, homeless people will provide a 4G ac network access in exchange for a donation. The... Bloody blah, blah Lab suggests two dollars per fifteen minutes. Oh my goodness, that's, that's fucking that's, not bad. I mean, that's pretty much minimum wage almost from in most states. Wait, that's wait, eight, wait, that's wait. eight. That's eight bucks an hour. No, no, I thought I thought that it was two dollars for the internet. I have a feeling you pay them though. You probably oh. he, he probably has like a password or something. You pay him the two bucks, he gives it to you. But he's smelly. Well, he's once just... he's making eight bucks an hour, he'll be able to shower. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> Actually, they're going to be waking way more than that. Yeah. Because if ten people a come, up, people come yeah. up. But I doubt yeah. that all the money goes to them. Oh, clearly not. They'll probably make about 50 cent per. It's not bad. I mean... I think it's a good idea. South by Southwest is a giant movie. It sounds more like uh, uh, being a no, being a waitress or something where you're paid in tips. Yeah. 
You don't have a sexual <laughs> salary. Oh my. Oh my. But I'll I mean, pay her in tips. Hulk Hogan did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna be up late. He'll you... make her Hulkamania run wild. Uh-huh. <laughs> Subasa, were you here for that? Could have hit. Were you here when BG was, or DA was talking about that? I think. I don't know. Okay, so before we started recording, we were talking about how Hulk Hogan has had a sex tape released. Wait, what? And, no, no, yes. it's not released. They're shopping it around. Oh, they're shopping it around. Okay, my, my, my mistake. Also, Anyways, yeah, but I'm curious DA now. goes on to this whole rant of like, oh, it's probably all old under there, his ball sack sagging. It's just like, I'm just like, we're just like, stop, stop, stop talking. Why are you stop? It was, I, yeah, I'm, it's going to be a pre-podcast nonsense. That's all I'm saying. It's going up on the channel. For those of you who listen on iTunes, if you want to hear this disgusting this, I'm not surprised if you don't want to, but... I'm just saying, go to our YouTube. I'm just saying, I want to hear about it. I'm curious. Fuck. He's like 80. Yeah, he's like 80. He's George he's right now. Probably nailing a 20 year old. <laughs> doesn't even know who he is. Which is nothing wrong with that. That just means he knows where his priorities are. There's everything wrong with that because nobody wants to see it. You just jelly that he has more swagger and he can pull it off at 80. He also has knees made of glass <laughs> and a rod in his back. And it is front, apparently. Yeah, that's not all he had his rod. Uh... <laughs> Can we move on from talking about Hulk Hogan's erection? I really wish I could do a Hulk Hogan impersonation, but all my Hulk Hogan impersonations just come out as Randy Savage. Yes, I was just about to and say, he's why are dead, you... so that's not cool. Why oh, are you yeah. About Randy You're going to snap it to a Slim Jim. Oh, he snapped yeah. it to a Sycamore instead. Yeah, all right. Oh, well, I'm actually going to talk a little bit about my vacation because there's some, some some fun stuff that happened there. Some was just like weird. I went this spring. It was like my spring break. I went on a cruise in the Caribbean, and uh, I think the biggest thing that happened really was my dad dislocated and fractured his shoulder what? on this cruise. Yeah, oh. we were at uh, St. Martin. It's this uh, partially nude beach called Orient Bay. That's a that's a whole other. Actually, I'm gonna get into that real quick. Oh. Please do. I I'm must. Here. I must. I must say, when you go to a new beach, don't walk around. Hey, don't. Mom, is that Hulk Hogan? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it was topless, optional only. There was no. I didn't have I to see any, any undergarment. <laughs> no downstairs areas. But you take a walk on the beach. You're like, okay, there there might be something. In sh- no, no. <laughs> Oh, you, you you get scarred just by, you just you walk back you're just like what did I just see what I I I need to I need to go home why did the <laughs> why did the international cake lovers convention have to convene here oh god <laughs> pretty much oh dude. elderly elderly oh, oh. Cake. yeah so yeah what, what was the ratio I saw, wh- long long what was the ratio of young to old. Vintage tits, vintage tits. Ninety-nine to one, pretty much. Ooh, it was you were the, the one. Rest. You were the one. Just like, oh, I my saw one, one. I saw one chick who was like, you know, probably in like her mid twenties. That was like okay. That's, <laughs> like that's that's it. That's that's all I saw. It's like I saw the oh, young rest one. of them had sandy nipples because they're just dragging and flopping. <laughs> Oh yeah, there were some people in there forty. <laughs> I think that's our title, Sandy Saggy Nipple. <laughs> the fuck is pre podcast and the title. I'm on a yes. roll. <laughs> but uh, anyways, but on that day it was like really windy that day, so the waves were pretty strong. So me and my dad and my stepsister were, were out there like body surfing. Oh like, on the waves. proceed, proceed, proceed. Oh, he's on? Yes, he Let's is. See. Get that drunk motherfucker in here. It's time, All right. baby. Alright. Crap, where's my... Skype split stuff for me. I don't like this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you don't know how to work Skype. Well, you know Skype good. I don't know. What is, up... an answer to that. what is up with your avatar to us? <laughs> it's the scout. 
Nobody Derp, plays Team Derping Fortress. hardcore. No one plays Team Fortress 2. Get the fuck out of my bounty hunter meeting. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyways, back to my dad hurting stuff. So we're body surfing. And then when we like big wave comes, he gets pushed under. His head pretty much goes like underneath his like left elbow. He hits the shore and it pushes him. It flips him over. Oh, so it dug bad. his shoulder into the beach. So yeah, he dislocated it, fractured it. I had to call paramedics. Thanks for the vacation, son. <laughs> all they all they did was speak French, so that was awesome because we are on the French side of Saint Martin. And, uh, I'm Canadian and I can't even speak French. I'm a yeah. horrible abomination to my people. <laughs> me, me and my stepsister get back to the boat. They're like, yeah, they might have to do surgery. We're like, what? They're like, yeah, he might not be getting back on the boat. I was like, oh, shit. Damn. So, Time to but uh, they got there. they got a specialist. They put his elbow. They got his elbow back in place. They like just got back on the ship. And he was just like in this like elaborate sling the rest of the vacation. No jerk, like a boss. A pop, yes. no whack, eh? <laughs> no whack. <laughs> it's my last name. Can't help it. But uh, yeah. So if he would have had surgery, I would have been on the. Me and my stepsister would have like spent the last three days just on the cruise. Just that would have been weird. Would have been nice to have a room to myself though. Would have been Yay, awesome. Yay! My dad posted tits on his Facebook. Yay. And we go to that. Take that, John. <laughs> <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> Hulk Hogan is my mentor. <laughs> oh I'm my a Hulkamania, your ring. Ah. But, uh, all right, so what other stories do I have? <laughs> there is this, uh, there is this uh, thing I went to the start of the vacation. It was this, like, fiesta-type Mexican dinner party thing, whatever. And uh, Lord. it was like pretty much you got this wristband, you got three drinks. Since I was you know over twenty one, they're alcoholic, blah 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 blah. But yeah, that, I mean, then it was just like a full course Mexican dinner, like quesadillas, uh, tortillas, all this different. Stuff. And uh, what? I got the Hershey squirts. Uh, oh, by the way, don't ever watch Jack and Jill or Bucky Larson for that matter. Anyways. <laughs> We uh, and they pretty much they get you up like dancing and stuff like that. Oh no, no! After you know that Mexican stuff, I have a strong stomach. Anyways, they had a dance competition, like one with just all a whole bunch of girls and one with a whole bunch of guys. They got me for the guys one, and I was pulling. Well, they were playing uh, shit. Mambo number five. No, it's the Macarena. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Shit, it's not. I think it, it's not the electric slide. Oh lord! It's the dun dun. The jump shuffle. on it! Jump on it! Oh, on the hustle! Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Dun, dun. Yeah. I, that white so, people dance. <laughs> but yeah, they had that, and then uh, what was that? At the beginning of it, I did like. Cause I was, you know, pretty mildly buzzed at this point, so I was just like, you know, fuck it, do whatever. So I did like this uh, Russian. Kick oh thingy. no! That's what all white people do. Dude, that's everybody's I'm, go-to. Yeah, did that. Did just you know typical since the seventies. I know I did the you know seventies point thing. I know I head banged at one point because I had the hair still. The tucky oh, yeah. roll. Yeah. The cat patch. I'll, I'll I'll post that too. I, I'm not sure if people have seen. Well, yeah, they saw the if they watched the video version, they've seen me with long hair. It is all gone. Very buzz short. I'll, uh, we'll post a picture or something. But, uh, anyways, I was one of the winners. Oh, my God. And winner got a shot of tequila. There was no black person on there, was there? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think they so. went I on the smaller cruise <laughs> in the I bank. Oh, there. no, dude, the ship we were on is the biggest ship out there right now. Well, I'm saying they went on the smaller ship in the, the bank, Negroes, in the bank. You know the deal. <laughs> This isn't your cruise right here. You're on that one. You're on the black ship. <laughs> the SS sink and swim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a debate. No, that sounds like a good title, too. We're getting so many good titles right now. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll have a vote afterwards. But uh, anyways, 
After that, they invited me back for another fiesta that they had later in the week. So I did. And I was in the dance competition again. And I won. So more shots of tequila. The bad thing was I had, like, drinks before that, so I got pretty drunk that night. This is like, tell me you got video of it. Please tell me you got video of it. Please tell me you got video of it. The first one, there is a video of it. Oh, give me the mic! Give me it, give I, me it, give me it. No! Oh, you no. big stink! I, I know you <laughs> and me will both edit it. I'm not giving it. <laughs> Are you a Jew? <laughs> Hey, Are you Asian or Mexican? I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! But yeah, they they what they give you? They gave the guys sombreros and girls these like blinky light thingies. I know my stepsister gave me one of the blinky light thingies, and I have a sombrero here. Totally wearing that this weekend for St. Patty's Day, even though it doesn't make sense. Oh, it's definitely sombrero. <laughs> I, I'm Irish. What? <laughs> Does it have green in the sombrero? I'm Irish. I'm wearing a fucking sombrero. Oh. Happy Easter. Nope. <laughs> it's red. Just red. Red and, you know, straw colored. Like the country. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. You're being heavily racist on this podcast episode. <laughs> this episode? We gotta make everything all speak. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not racist. I hate everyone. I'm glad equal. they did not hear that. <laughs> I was gonna say yeah, that's that's Proceed's line right there. Hate everybody equally. All right, actually, I'm gonna see. Let's see. Add to call. I didn't see him online. I didn't see. He was Proceed. on for a second. And let, let's proceed. Okay, yeah, he left. He left the I bitch. Piece of crap. What the? F- okay. All right. So what else happened on this cruise? Met some cool people. Iceberg right ahead. Luckily, well, <laughs> yeah, those icebergs are all over the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, I know, they're a big, aren't they? The ship can't possibly sink. <laughs> I mean, the, the way, like, they actually got... With the just because my the ship was so fucking huge, we actually got delayed to one of our ports because the winds were too strong. They couldn't bring the ship in just because it would, like, tip over. <laughs> the, See, ship, the ship... The ship... The ship's fucking huge, though, dude. It was 17 floors. That's how tall the ship was. <laughs> complete oh, cartwheel. Oh my goodness. That's oh. a funny visual. Oh, the ship tipping over? Yes. Like a skeleton <laughs> crapping? Yes. Um, oh, continue, continue, please. <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss for words. Just how kind of stupid that laughter was. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> I meant the topic and why he laughed at it, but... All right, you, must, you got my vote now. But, uh... <laughs> but, uh... Once again. But, uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of people I met in the cruise were really cool. girl that I met, uh, Amanda, her name was. She's really cool. She ended up being, like... She goes to conventions and stuff like that. She cosplays a lot, I guess, is the, um... I always forget the fucking girl's name. The pink-haired girl from Air Gear. Oh, um... Samoa? Mixed slut bag? I don't know. What? I mean, all the girls in there. And I, I dropped air gear. It was, it was boring. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the girl. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, Samica. Sem- 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 there we go. But uh, at one point, I, we were just walking around. She, I guess she got seasick, and she was wearing these like wristband things that help like balance you on the ship. That's and bull she's, crap. She's just like, do these things look kind of stupid? I'm like, actually... What they really make me think they look like. I'm gonna get kind of nerdy here, but it kind of look like she just goes Dragon Ball Z. And I'm like, yep. Yeah. She's like, oh fucking Goku, bitch. Like, <laughs> you should just like marry me. Where it's going on? Cruise Captain, do it. I don't know. Actually, she might be lesbian though. That's the thing. Uh, so, cause I mean, I friended her. Well, I'm not sure if she replied to me on Facebook yet. I friended her pretty recently, but she says. Like, it says she's interested in women and is dating a woman, so... Oh, that's no maybe about it. Well, dude, I my sister has done that, like, you know, making fun. Like, oh, I'm going out with my best friend, and I'm only interested in women. Because from the way she was talking on the ship, she, like, said she would go lesbian? So... Uh, impl- I'm all ears, dot JPEG. <laughs> it implies that... And I don't know. She was cool, though. 
If anything, she'll be my first lesbian friend. <laughs> we need to get out more. Really? <laughs> I actually have three. Not to mention our various yes. gay cousins. Yes. Oh, Tanik was gay for a second, too. Yes, she was. And yes, we do have a cousin named Tanik and Tata Lay and Tanaya. We're black. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear enough. <laughs> We are actually the only white members of our family. Just really strange coincidence. Yeah, really? <laughs> Everyone else is black. I'm <laughs> totally not adopted. Totally. <laughs> Pictures lost in the flood. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped. They dropped the wrong paint can to the mixer. What? <laughs> they were just out in the sun too long. That's all. Yeah. The oven was on too high. <laughs> We're fucking horrible. <laughs> oh my god. And, uh... Oh god. <laughs> back on topic. Back on yeah, topic. Trying, what was... topic? Yeah, so it's, it's just me talking about random shit on my vacation. But uh, there's this thing. They had those uh, <clears throat> wave riders. Have you guys seen those before or heard yes, about them? Yeah. God, I suck at those. I'm fucking horrible. I am not a surfer. <laughs> I fell so many fucking times. <laughs> like, all right, all right. It's like, put your weight in the back leg. And I'm like trying, like, back leg, back leg, back fall. <laughs> you need weight distribution. You're what, a buck 25? I actually gained 10 pounds. I lost it already, but I think it was all beer weight. I gained 10 pounds on the cruise. A I stepped on a five. <laughs> <laughs> I was one around a little under 150 before I left. And then I get on the scale when I get back home. I was like 160. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Time to just sit here and lose it. Yeah. Uh, I, I apparently did. I probably just crashed yeah. it out. <laughs> it's oh, like, oh, back to 150. All right, cool. Whatever. <laughs> Been there my whole life. <laughs> this is all I'm going to be. Pretty much. 10 pounds of hair weight. <laughs> Lost that. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. I actually, I was kind of pissed after I got my hair cut. I was think I was trying to think of like stupid Facebook pictures, be like, "Oh my God, my hair is gone." And I thought of it later. I'm like, you know, I should have saved some hair, and I made a picture of like me tearing it out. It would have been fucking cool. Or just have one of those giant Fu Manchu mustaches. <laughs> Rat tail. Just yeah, just glue. You know, at one point when she was cutting my hair, like I literally like because she like shaved everything around except for like my, the front of my hair, like my bangs or whatever. I was just like, I look so fucking emo right now. <laughs> Just dye my hair black right now. In my skin. No, so I'm not coming back to the village. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Sasuke, close. Sasuke, Sasuke. I, think I, I think I looked more Leon than Sasuke. I have to say, Naruto is awful right now. Oh, yeah. Continue. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling this is going to be the plot hole that gets Sasuke back on the good side. If they do that, man... Like, I, I said before, I don't like dropping manga. I will drop this manga. Like, straight up. If, yeah, they, all, if they get all buddy-buddy again, I'm done with this series. Yes. Completely done. I, I don't care if it's four chapters left. I will accept it after they fight. Nope. No. That's what nope. I will accept it. No. Use my blood, dummy. He needs to be dying. Yes. And he needs to die right after... Oh, I forgive you, Sasuke. You were always my friend, also. Bleh. That <laughs> he needs to die right after. If they're sitting there smiling and shaking hands, and, and I'm done. Who knows? Anyways, I actually you, didn't know. You I, suck, Kiki. You suck. I heard that. I knew the Bleach manga was on the last arc. I did not know the anime was canceled. Yeah, oh, it was canceled. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they have canceled the anime. Interesting. And what, actually, what's appearing in its place? Have you seen those uh, Rock Lee Springtime of Youth little mini yes, manga? I have. They're make they're animating that, and that's what's replacing Bleach. <laughs> oh no! Woo! Oh no! You get. I just, I just find that funny. That that's what's re- <laughs> Bleach is that bad now? They're replacing it with. Oh, it's bad! It's bad. Like, Where are they at in the uh, One Piece anime? I haven't really paid attention. Uh, they're on Fishman Island. Um, the last episode I saw... Uh, 
I am not caught up at all. You are. I'm, I'm like five episodes behind. I, I decided to just catch up one day, and then I stopped. <laughs> I one don't, day. I don't. Five years later, anime's still going. One day. Get off my lawn. I'm only 27. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Uh. So you guys have any interesting stories about moving? Uh, when we were moving, our staircase from the basement yes, to yes. the main house, three of them broke. And we had to, we had, we were moving stuff, we had to kind of jump over it. And... <laughs> who, who jerry-rigged that, like, bitch? <laughs> it, was, it was Bruce. He kind of, <clears throat> our stepfather, he kind of, there was, he kind of put a board it was going like... from the fourth stair up down to the bottom <laughs> stair. And you just like, you know, just kind of slide down. You'll be fine. Nobody was fine. <laughs> I walked down that stuff when I went with Derek to pick up the last of the stuff. And I was no. scared as crap, man. I was holding on to the walls and everything. So I was like, like, how am I going to get back up here? <laughs> you just kind of slide down like Elf on the escalator, except going down. You just have on the handrails. You just kind of like split your way down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So it was a regular move other than that though, yeah, as far as I can think. Pretty uneventful. Oh god. Oh, I had to stay in the house for a night when it was freezing. It was like 40 degrees in here. I had to wait for the gas man and everything. Dude, that is one thing. How it, It's warm down here. Is it warm for you guys at all? It is 70 right now. Yes. There's not... Yeah. It's a thunderstorm right now, and it's 70 degrees. It can't be I... snowing. You're fucking lucky. I could actually go outside, take a piss, and it would freeze to my dick. That's how fucking yeah. cold it is outside. Canada really? is always snowing. <laughs> no, Damn. I live on the I live on the cock sucking ocean. It's fucking freezing out here. I can see that. I mean, it take it'll probably take a while for the ocean to like you know heat up. Yeah, yeah. It... we just got snow today. Fuck yeah. my life. Are there still crows outside of your window? <laughs> Those fuckers don't leave me alone. They're sitting waiting. there. Come on I'm... outside, John. Come on. We're waiting all for I... you. All I can hear is them saying quietly. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh my they have their crow bar out there. Um, crow. Our mother uh, is afraid oh. of birds. Definitely a fairy. Really? Why the movie The Birds? Yes. There's a uh, movie coming out called a, like The Ravens or something like that. Have you guys heard of it? No, I haven't. It's uh, or... this investigator is going through these series of like serial murders, and all of them, it's like back a while ago, and all of them are based off Edgar Allan Poe books. Wow, oh, that's interesting. And the guy enlists Edgar Allan Poe's help when his Edgar Allan Poe's fiance is kidnapped. Yeah, that's not it. And pretty, they have to go through his stories, and pretty much the guy's like, "How well do you know your own that's literature?" That's real quick. I was yeah. for a second. I'm done. <laughs> nice I wish they hurry up with this It remake. Yeah, really. They're remaking It. Yes, they are. They're remaking a lot. They're remaking Alien now. Boo. They're remaking Spider Man. That's some bull crap. I'm I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not either. I'm going to see it, but I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> That's exactly the best way to put it. I'll tell you right now, even though you're going to see it, I'm not going to see the Dark Knight Rises. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going feels. to see Dark Knight Rises. I'm, I'm going to see pretty much all the superhero stuff movies. I'm yeah, going Expendables to see exactly. 2. Expendables 2. Oh, is it coming out this year? Yep. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that movie is more or less like you don't go in expecting awesomeness. You just go in expecting, you know, okay, it should be all right. And that's what I went. Gun fights and yeah, that's what I expected and... last time, and I wasn't disappointed. Yeah, Jason that's... Statham, Jean Claude Van Damme, and Chuck Norris all in the same fucking movie. What? Fuck Chuck, your Chuck raging Norris, bar. Chuck Norris is an a hole. Is he? He's a he's a radical Christian a hole. Is he? He's like. No, one of his quotes it almost exactly was, oh, all these quotes about me on the internet are wrong. The only true superhero is God. <laughs> God can't shoot laser beams out of his eyes. Fucking lies. Fucking lies. <laughs> but but uh, I'm definitely, next week, I'm going to see Hunger Games, most definitely. Uh, I'm I'll see it eventually. Yeah, let's say, the, book, the books, I'm about halfway through the last book right now, and it's been pretty good. 
I got the same two movies I want to see this year. And then I've seen one of them. <laughs> and and then Avengers. I still need to see Chronicle. I really need to see that. Oh, but, uh, you need to see Chronicle. Did anybody I need... go see uh, the three D Star Wars? No. <laughs> uh, no, I don't need to waste money to see. <laughs> how much did that make? Yes, how much? I was a... to go see it just for get uh, and giggles, but <laughs> I, I, I was just like, nah, that's like went, two and a half hours, and you should have went and like talked to somebody that was going into it, see if they were a Star Wars fan, and just bragged on the movie the whole time, just screaming out, oh, "George R. Bates, this is what you're a fan of." Raises <laughs> Jar Jar 3D. Oh God, no! <laughs> is it Let's bad that at the same time doing this podcast, I'm watching Power Ranger Zio and watching Johnny Young Bosch play a Power Ranger makes you sound like Ichigo was inside the costume? Yeah, that, that's really. I noticed that when the when he came back for a little while. Or no, that's that, I'm okay. Zio, wow. Yeah, but, uh, I'm watching the first Zord battle at the same time. But uh, what, in, uh can I ask why? Because I fucking love classic Power Rangers. One of the more I've watched just because I kind of liked it, or I would just rewatch. I can see, hey, old Rangers came back. I'm like, okay, I'll look at those those episodes. There's an episode where Johnny Young Bosch came back as a Black Ranger. <clears throat> All of his fight noises, because this was like recently, sounded exactly like Ichigo. It was pretty funny. It's like he's swinging his axe, and I'm just I'm waiting for him to yell like you know like Bonkai. I'm just like, okay, come on now. <laughs> you know, he's a Black are. Ranger. It'd be Bonkai, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's see. I'm I'm looking at the uh, box office stuff for uh, Phantom Menace 3D. Subasa, click the yo, link. click the link. Forty three million worldwide in its opening million. in its opening weekend. Oh, yeah, I heard of this. It, it's it's all the Power Rangers versus all the fucking common Riders. Let's see. It is. Insane. It made four hundred and seventy four million domestically and five, uh, five hundred and forty five point one million in other territories. One billion worldwide. Oh, and that's said to be the worst one. Yeah, the problem is... Wor- worst, like, fucking... Star Wars? Yeah. I I disagree. Zuckerberg is going to cut half the cent- half the Pirangers out, because before Mighty Morphin, any of the Japanese versions never appeared in America and Canada. <laughs> like, Mighty Morphin was, like, I think the 12th or the 20th series. Holy Jesus. Why do you but know the- this? Because I know so many people that are into Super Sentai. The goddamn, like they also the next one coming out is the uh, Pirate Rangers, the Go Kaiger. Pirate Rangers. Oh my Jesus! Continue what you were saying, Lo. <laughs> I'm just saying that I do not agree with that assessment. That Episode One's the worst one, too. I'd say. One had nothing going Silence. for it but Darth Maul. Yeah, Darth Maul was the only thing. Darth Maul and Liam Neeson. <laughs> like, the kid was... Up. Yes, the kid was a horrible actor! Come on! Just based off that performance. <laughs> and those were the good takes! Has those he rejected! Has he been in anything? <laughs> Since then, I'm curious. I have no Whoa. idea, but I saw. Whoa! I just, I just, I just looked at the picture. He's 23. Shit. Yes, I saw an interview with the dude. He is bitter. Why? <laughs> he got picked with all throughout school. That is a bitter, bitter dude. And I was laughing. I, <laughs> you suck. You deserved it. <laughs> Last thing he was in was a movie called Madison. Yeah. I know uh, the dude that played Andy Barkley from the Chucky movies are, is now a mechanic. Yeah. He has a Chucky doll also, which is weird. Oh, does he? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to transition this to a video game real quick. All right. Nice segue. Yeah. That's oh, why yeah. they call you the king. No, they call you that because it's your name. That, what I tell you about me about my name? Press on our... Um... Shut up. I don't care. It's not there. It yeah, actually... It is. I can go right to it. Video game. Anyway, Hold on, I, I just the uh, just I was look reading that Jake Lloyd was the actor who pay, played Anakin as a kid. Yeah. Lloyd cited bullying on the part of classmates and mm-hmm. stress of doing many interviews as the reasons for his retirement from acting. Mm-hmm. He also destroyed all of his Star Wars memorabilia and refuses to even watch the films because he finds them too quote unquote creepy. 
Rightly so. That is bitter. <laughs> he is a bitter, bitter person. All right, Street Fighter okay, X. Okay, you. Okay, go. Go, go. Um. I don't know. Uh, okay, so I'm going to talk about Street Fighter X Tech at first. I don't know if I want to talk about the other thing. Uh, there's a lot of controversy about the characters being on disc. And Capcom is losing a lot of respect. Like, a lot. The first problem is um, this disc lock content that they keep. They keep doing it. They're doing it for Ultimate Marvel with the... Um, Alternate outfits, they're all on this. They're going to cost money to unlock that. Why? It's already on the game. Just let us get to it. Why are we paying money for something that's already on the disc that we're going to download a 100 kilobyte file to unlock? It makes no freaking sense. And these people defending it. Like, I, I, I got into an argument with some dude talking about Oh, you don't understand that um, these games have to go through. They have to submit the um, the full game for review for to publish it from Sony and Microsoft and all this. And I'm saying, okay, if that's the case, then why are they even developing these characters right now? Couldn't they have pushed this back two weeks and said, okay, we're gonna add these six characters. We're submitting these six characters as well for a review, or these twelve characters. But no. They wanted to submit the game that they wanted to submit, and then they developed DLC on the side, and it's it's a it's on the disc. It's ready. It's ready. And, and then and then Burger King, we have new salads. Who eats apples, cranberries, chicken, and blue cheese? It's disgusting. I have no idea if you're joking right now. I a very not. successful I Mexican. Not. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh, interesting. I actually, I'm go- I went to the video of a rant that I saw for uh, Street Fighter X Tekken. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Capcom has officially apologized over the uh, lack of co-op on the Xbox. Oh yeah, they messed up. They messed up many things on Xbox as well. They put it on in the manual that it was available, and they advertised it as available for the Xbox. But the day of release, they said no, it's not available. So they lied to their customers until the day of release. They knew this weeks to months before, but they waited until the last minute, release day, until all these people had bought it to say, no, that's not available, sorry. And then they blamed Microsoft for it, even though many of these shooters do the same, Mortal Kombat does the same. Yeah. Well, so I, so I read a good quote. It's like, uh, DLC doesn't stand for downloadable content now, it stands for dislocked content. That's what Cal Robin does. And then, uh... Also, the thing, I think the big thing they're losing respect for is they're dishing out all their titles, and people are doing crap with them. Yeah. Devil May Cry. Perfect example. And people are... Was Who that the ha- Yes, it was. Was that you, Subasa? Of course it was Subasa. Cool. For what? We heard the Power Rangers morph uh, communicator thing noise. Yeah, I'm watching it. Still. Okay, it's because he's watching it. <laughs> I thought right. he had like a, a his ringtone. Cell phone. You hear that? Hell so no, much I don't have a cell phone. I owe the cell phone company too fucking too much fucking money. I don't have shit. <laughs> well, you should do what drug dealers do: buy a burner. <laughs> These people don't even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> They're white people, you know. Canadians and yeah. Ohioans. I don't know how you print what they're Ohioan. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Mr. Gander, bit. <laughs> I hate that name. I really do. I wish we would have stuck to Michiganians. Because I gangs. Again. Uh, that was horrible. I don't know. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyone get Mass Effect 3 yet? Bam! Right here. It's all. I am I'm not into overhyped games. It is. I haven't, I haven't played it yet. Two I... killed the series for me because you... You accomplish nothing. And then throughout the third game, you're doing all this stuff to accomplish the ending. But at the end of the day, all that stuff you did accomplishes nothing. It, this game did not need to be a trilogy. It could have been two games. And the last two games accomplished nothing, pretty much. All that side stuff you were doing, all these characters you connected with and stuff, nothing. 
And then at Burger King, we have these new wraps. <laughs> and we have these new chicken strips as well. And the chicken strips are, are bigger than the tortilla wraps. So we can't wrap them properly. Again, I don't know. It's insanity. Kidding. Yeah, I don't know. I am not kidding. I swear the, new, I the new bistro sandwiches at fucking um, McDonald's are fucking boss. McDonald's is terrible. So Really, they are. Uh, They're still good sandwiches, so. I will fall up to the death. Have you had the, um, what is it, the egg McMuffin? Ugh. No, I don't like eggs. Fuck eggs. Like, it's the driest piece yes, of crap. You yes. you have to spread. Their biscuits are, are, they might as well be molded sand. <laughs> they might as well be made of, like, sponge and specifically designed to suck the <laughs> moisture from your mouth. It is very dry <laughs> is what we're getting at. <laughs> Oh my god, McDonald's is terrible. <laughs> Actually, I heard a re- I, I, uh, in another podcast that the discussion. You seen on little, us? <laughs> little, <laughs> oh my. little interesting plot discussion. Have you guys ever been in a fight before? Oh yeah, me and BG have fought. <laughs> yes, we have. Like how? Like how hard? That's why well, we were like we were like eight and nine, was it? Yeah. It wasn't that hard. I, the hardest fight I went, was in was um, some dude in like it was like fourth or fifth grade, and I'm sitting there doing my work and it's free time and I'm just doing whatever. He, he's talking to his friends and he walks up to me, and he's discussing something and he grabs my ears and like pulls me up. <laughs> so I grabbed hey, his knock arm. Knock it off, head. I grabbed his arms and I like <laughs> flung him into the desk. He got up and punched me dead in the nose. And then we just went right at it. Then there was the time that we got jumped by the old, like, oh, yeah. the four dudes. Oh, there's some Pokemon cards. There's some Pokemon. Those Big sex my Charizard. As, as gets, Give me back my Blastoise. Since it gets real hard in Detroit, man. <laughs> <laughs> shoot, shoot out over Pokemon cards. I know that was a horrible impersonation, but, but yeah. fucker, that's my Mewtwo. No, we ain't had no Mewtwo's. It was, it no, was, we did not. It was that uh, giraffe-like Pokemon. Yes, it I remember. Was. It was a it was, holographic yeah. giraffe. It was around the time where the new Pokemon was coming out. We had. And you got jumped for that? Yeah, because some dude stole it from him. And I, I walked up to him. I said, give us back our car. He said no. And I punched the crap out of him. And then all these dudes just jumped on me. And then I was choking him out. We're on the ground. I'm choking him out. And they're just stomping me. I said, you better tell your boy to get off me because I'm not going to let you go otherwise. He said, get off him, get off him. I, I was like, stand get up. Get off him, you mugs. I said, stand up. Yeah, see. And then he stood up and I was, y'all going to leave us alone right now and give us back our car. This woman came out from across the street. Hey, leave those boys alone. They gave us back our No, we never got the car back then. We never got they the ran car. away. <laughs> and we went home. Scramble. <laughs> Pokemon, yeah, I can't say serious it. fucking business. Have you, what about you, Subasa? I've never had that kind of thing happen to me over cards. Or fight in general. Well, actually, I did I did have to go fucking get some kid in my class. He, when I Back when I first got it, he stole my mint condition Magician of Black Chaos, and I made the principal make him get me a fucking new copy of it because he wrecked it because he hid it in his shoe. Ooh. Oh, oh, ooh. So he went out and he searched through fucking card shops for like two weeks and then got me a brand new copy of Magician of the Black Chaos. Very nice. Like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you work for but, me. Uh, I, uh, I would have never Lick I've my never, fucking boot. <laughs> I never really got into... I, mean, I might have gotten into a little like skirmish here and there when I was like younger, but I got suspended once from school. I was like, I was picked on a bit. Back morally back in middle school. No, and, uh, no yeah. way! Impossible. You, the the six four hundred twenty pound man. No, five eleven. No, impossible. Anyways, thanks. It's a real. That's a real self esteem builder right there. <laughs> but uh, anyways. I don't know, I was, for some reason, I was really pissed off or something this day, and we were just waiting, like, our teacher hadn't showed up to her class, we were just standing outside the classroom, some guy just kind of came up and just kind of, like, smacked me in the face, just kind of, it wasn't really that hard, but I was not in a good mood, he was, like, smacking me, and I was like, ah, and I just walked up to him, and was like, you think that's funny, and then I smacked him back in the face with, like, all my strength, 
and a teacher saw. Break your eyes, bitch. <laughs> but and then <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the guy who hit me. I mean, me and him are pretty good friends now. We joke about that a lot now. But uh, yeah, it was one and only time I was suspended. But the funny thing was, well, first, like I'm in the principal's office and they couldn't get a hold of my mom, so they called my uh, aunt and uncle. And my uncle is very like old school, very uh, give him the lashes. Tra- no, 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 not like that. Tra- I, 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 Old I'm not exactly Knudsen. sure. Old school, but anyways, he's like, uh, yes, he's Mr. Knudsen, I have your nephew in here. He was caught having a uh, small fight with a student outside. Sorry. My uncle's like, my uncle's just like, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> he better defend himself. <laughs> like, just like going on. He's just like, he's like, why would you disapprove of him fighting and defending himself? Well, my aunt's just like, for a second. my aunt's just like, give me the phone, give me the phone, give me the phone. Like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they and I the thing was though. I was, it's out of school suspension for like three or five days. I forget how long it was. And you're not supposed to get your like work or anything. They gave me my homework. They gave me all the work I was going to get in class. My mom was just like, they called back. She's like, so what you're saying is you're, you're, he's, you can't come to school for three days. He's like, yes. And you're giving him all his homework. Yes. You know, he's just going to sit in his room and play video games all week. Yes. It's like, okay. <laughs> I was the same way. What the fuck is a suspension? I sat in my room playing N64 all fucking day. I didn't give a fuck. You know, it was, it was really dumb. Didn't you, you told me once, I, I'm not sure if it was on the podcast or not, where you, like, uh, there was a, like, hostage situation on a bus, DA? Oh, yeah, yeah. You really want me Whoa, to tell what? you that? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we discussed this on, on the uh, podcast. Was it on the podcast or yeah, was it? Yeah, uh... I saved all the people on the bus, yeah. Okay. I didn't know. I forget if it was on the podcast or not. I thought it yeah, might have yeah. been like a pre podcast nonsense. No, or no, like... no. It was on the podcast. Or, okay. or was it? I can't remember. It may have been. Just say it again. Who the fuck cares? Okay. Here's what happened I'll tell the short story, the short version of the story. I was on the bus with my friend. Uh, some guy gets on the bus with a good and says to the bus driver, keep driving, don't do anything. He goes up to each and every person, you know, give me the money, give me the jewels, blah, blah, blah. He gets to me, I give him whatever. He turns his back, I grab him, put him in a full Nelson. He's he's struggling, you know, get off me, get off me. And I'm and I'm yelling at people, grab the gun, do something. And people are just <laughs> looking at me. And the guy falls, and then everybody wants to rush up and grab him. And then, so I was near my stop. I get up, and I'm like, okay, everybody, you know, just take whatever's yours. Don't take what's not. And I get off the bus. Hero. <laughs> I'm a hero. No, but I, 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 I walked off into the sunset. Gets off the bus, like so like does a jump, like zoom in. Da, da, da. <laughs> My horse came. <laughs> Mounted it. I'll see you later. Away. See you later, space cowboys. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> but yeah, I could have been I shot. <laughs> I really could have been shot. So that was awesome. I mean, you can't people. do that, though. Shot. Yeah. It'll happen anytime. Just get ready. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. We are, we Where are we at? We are at. <laughs> all right. Let's see if there's any other interesting article story thingies that I've found recently. There's sexual harassment within the fighting game community. What? What? <laughs> I don't know what about this. Story. No. It was like all over all the major gaming sites. Nobody on the gaming sites but you. No, I just know the fighting game community. I didn't go to any of these sites. So yeah, um, um, Capcom was doing this uh, cross assault. I think it was called. It was some reality web series. Blah blah blah. They picked some peep, some prevalent Tekken and Street Fighter players, and they had them compete in various matches and challenges and then people would get eliminated blah 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 so this piece of crap Tekken coach he I wish I had a picture of him on like right now but I don't uh, equate him to somebody he looks like he looks like Nate but he has a full beard <laughs> and he had like a mullet oh yeah he okay so Oh, uh, each each uh, team had a female gamer, the Tekken team and the Street Fighter team. So he's 
he's just acting like a. It's like day five, and the Tekken girl is still on her team. But all of a sudden, she starts throwing her matches and, and forfeiting matches, and nobody knows what's going on. So then they do a little bit more investigating, and they realize that this Tekken coach, her coach, had been sexually harassing her the whole time. He had been walking up to her, asking her, what's your bra size? During uh, matches, he'd take the camera and point it at her breasts and her and her butt and all this. And he was just doing all this stuff. So then dur- there, um, it gets out, and he explains it. Oh, don't worry about it. That's how all the fighting game community is. This is what we do. We're, we're like this. So now... This is the first, like, mainstream... I mean, this is sponsored by Capcom with $25,000 on the line. Oh, no. This so this is, is just like, oh, no. All of you people. Yeah, that's yeah, just so a face all bomb. Of a sudden, all of a sudden, Kotaku and all these sites start covering it. And to make matters worse, there's this uh, series, Wednesday Night Fights. And it, it happened, like, a day after that thing, and Kotaku had put up their article and everything. And these guys are joking about it. And, and they're they're playing the game and Charlie like does their spinning burger and he's like, oh, don't call Kotaku, sexual harassment. And they're just jumping about the whole thing. So it makes us look even worse. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, that happened. <laughs> it, it was like... about it, all communities have that sort of, oh, uh, you're just making us all look horrible. Yeah, and he, he made the whole fighting game community look just terrible. And the worst part was we really didn't do anything to like counteract that. Which it's, I, <laughs> it's, it's I still, need to see these videos. It's still a joke to this day. Like there was a Street Fighter X Tekken uh, tournament recently. Oh no, it was the Big Two tournament, which is like this uh, tournament that goes on every Saturday or whatever. I can't remember the exact date. And it's this female player, and, and they're like, "Oh, she knows what she's doing." Uh, da, 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 da. She knows what she's doing. I, I can't understand this. And they're joking about it. Oh, she knows how to do a tax. She's not just mashing buttons. She has potential. The the stream chat, which is all the fans, all you see is, oh, Kotaku alert and all this other stuff and don't call and blah, 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 blah. And mm, it's just awful. It's hilarious. Oh, and another fighting game community person is um, very prevalent Marlon Pie. He has a girlfriend or whatever. Very hot. She likes to um, talk on the stream. And while she's talking on the stream, in between matches, they'll cut to the commentators. The All you saw was, oh, get your clothes off. <laughs> and it's just awful, man. <laughs> it's just awful. I bet you it's, I, I, all, uh, it's, again, it's, like, it's probably like all been in the closet, but now it's like out in the air. They're like, well, we can just... Now we can talk oh, about it. Before the sexual harassment thing. Oh. So now we can talk about it. Burps. It's it's been, <laughs> it was just really bad. It's been a it's been a bad little time for us. Yep, that happened. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear about it. I didn't. I don't. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not in the fighting game community, so. I, I know, but it was on some game websites. I mean, they did interviews and all types of. Mm, okay then. They were. All right. Oh, yeah, and the Magneto costume is banned because he looks like the king of Spain. Yeah, the Spani- the people of Spain got in an uproar about it, and Capcom, no. Why? Why? We're, we're... I, I hate that so much. <laughs> they didn't uproar when freaking, you know, Leon was killing Spaniards. And... <laughs> black people. Yeah, exactly. Like, and for five. Black people in the grass hunts. <laughs> Yeah. I, w- I wouldn't Beast. be surprised for Resident Evil 6 or like, oh no, Chris is killing Chinese people. Stars. God. That's I, that is the one thing I hate. When people, there's sort of like remotely some kind of like quote unquote questionable content and people get an uproar about it. I know there's some thing I read this article, I'm, I'll try to find it, where uh this dad was uh, went on Fox News or something. Of course, Fox News. That's just me. <laughs> That's just me being, you know, Democrat. But anyways, uh, he uh, complained about uh, Portal Two. What? Because 
there's a line in Portal 2 where, I guess, Wheatley, that's when he becomes GLaDOS or whatever. Yeah. Spoilers. And then he starts, ins- like, throwing insinuations at Shell, and he calls her adopted. Oh, God, I remember that. See, and, there's a whole gigantic and there, blow up about yeah. it. They have a mom or dad. And the dad, because his daughter is adopted, got very upset by it and went to the news, and they had this whole report. And this whole time, they're like, the daughter was like, we've asked her about it. She stayed quiet about it, but I think she's just keeping everything in. It's like, no, she doesn't fucking care. She doesn't care. She just blew it up out of proportion. It's so fucking stupid. It's like People the are adopted. This video game character does not have a mom or dad. I mean, yeah. it's... Uh... And then the whole thing with the Mass Effect thing. Do you remember that? The whole Mass Effect sex scene? Oh, yeah. Mass Effect- and then yeah. every scene, after, every game after that, they just cut it down more and more. It was just, oh my god. Not to like, mention the uh, kid that had nightmares from the Eternal Dragon for Dragon Ball Kai. So, oh, yeah. So the CW cut it out the intro. Yes. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, I didn't you, hear about you that. About that? No. Uh, you know, don't stop, don't stop. Where uh, yeah, I, I mean, turns Super Saiyan and the Eternal Dragon is behind him. Or he's doing a Kyle Cannon. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And the dragon is behind him. The CW cut it out because some child was having nightmares. And the so now, so now it's just it. a green sky behind him. And it looks horrible. God. Like, what? Funny, funny. like if you're getting if you're having nightmares about that, this is not the series for you. Yeah, you exactly. Be allowing your child to watch this series. Oh, that's again. Is all right. If the person has a thing about wait, wh- why did he insult him saying he's adopted? You just talk to your kid about it. Yeah. You be a parent. You talk to him about it. They're having nightmares about a dragon. To say like, all right, if you don't, I mean, if you're having nightmares, maybe you shouldn't watch the show. Be a fucking parent. It's it's just off. It's God. Awful. That's one of my pet peeves. It's just stupid shit like that when people blame media. For stuff. Yeah, and they can't. They should be more. They should be a parent instead of just, oh, the, the media is corrupting my child and blah, 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 blah. So, no, you're not instructing them on these things when they see it. Yeah, They're going to see it. They're going to see it. Exactly. You can't, you can't shelter them from it. They're going to see it. It's just, as a parent, you have to guide them through that experience. It's no different for anything. Maybe someone sees, you know, a pandemic or something. Like, someone sees someone die or something like that. It's no different than having the birds and the bee talk. Or if their dog dies or something. Yeah, exactly. Their dog dies and you're like, oh, the vets and... uh, What? That doesn't make any sense. And what's the point of turning Popo blue? Oh, it's it's a horrible blue, too. It's just awful. Prepare to be assimilated. (laughs) Hello. You I see that thing that Team Popo. Four Star? <laughs> you see that Team Four Star made that whole techno thing with Guru? No. Oh my! It was a. It was oh a yeah, like, I ended there. Um, it was about the two cons. <laughs> it's like uh, here's some other cons we're going to. It's like blah, something con, something con, Yomacon, 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 Yomacon. <laughs> it's like five Yomacons underneath like two other cons. <laughs> yep, that's the opening without the dragon. Looks very crappy. Yeah, yeah. the quality. Oh, wait. But, yeah, Let me see. You same. posted it? Yep. Let's see. Let me it's see. It's at like this. the three or four second mark. Toon's Eye. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> He's on Namek. He's on Namek. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's, cool. That's, just... That's so fucking hilarious. That's just parents, Not at man. All. We, look, we grew up. Our mom said. You can watch and listen to whatever you want. I just don't want you swearing in front of me or any other adult. And we turned out fine. Hey, that's the same thing with my mom and, like, for me and, like, with my mom and dad. I played and watched a lot of violent shit. Power yeah, Rangers, Dragon Kombat. Ball. Dragon Ball and stuff. I played more. I mean, some games, they wouldn't let me play, like, Mortal Kombat back in the day. But, like, I played, like, you no, know, all the shooters, Halo, all that stuff. Years when it first came out, I was like, you know, 14 or whatever. Yeah. 13, 14. I'm fine. You know, I'm perfectly sane. Although, if I ever got my hands on a hidden blade, I, I might do stuff. But, uh, 
Assassin's Creed corrupting me. I, I might start climbing buildings and shit. Or attempting to and failing miserably. Yeah. Actually, there's this hoodie. There's this uh, clothing store. I think it's based in the UK called insertclothing.com. Or insert coin clothing. And they have these uh, hoodies. Is like, slow, you know, it's um, like college athletic shirts. It's like, yeah. you know, BG athletic, you know, this year. It's uh, Monterjoni from the second game. Yeah. And it has the widowed, the uh, Eagle Peak hood. Wow. So I was just like, ah, uh, bye, bye. I don't have money for it right now, though, sadly. It's probably like 400 bucks. It's only 35. Really? Or 35 euros, so it's a little bit more. Oh, uh, plus like we got it at 41, 40. $42. Yeah. So that shipping is going to be in the doubles. Yeah. Still, that's... I want very badly. Give me that. Give me a hidden blade. Good. I'll be arrested. <laughs> I don't. I don't see how these people can think that these music and video games, TV, like influence their kids that much. Really, one uh, of the first rock songs that I really liked was Marilyn Manson. Yeah, and uh, can can say it best if if I have more of an influence with my music that you parents do, then that's a problem. Yeah. Frickin' Jack Thompson. Do you remember oh him? Oh, my God. That dude that was lobbying for yeah, all the for those, video game bands the, and crap. For those people who... Because, I mean, he's since lost his lawyer's license. <laughs> oh, this Jack, is insane. Jack Thompson, back in the early 2000s, was this super, super traditionalist Christian lawyer that had a... like He was on a war against rap, which I don't mind. Like, gangster rap. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I don't mind. I hate rap, dude. Sorry. I hate rap. But uh, and, also, and also violent video games. And he was blaming many of, like, the shootings and stuff that have happened in the recent years on these violent video games. Like, for uh, Columbine, he... What, he... He basically... I know he was uh, blaming Marilyn Manson and, like... You know, some like Halo and some other shooters and stuff like that, saying that they, they train them like these shooters train children to kill people. They train them to you know be expert marksmen and stuff. It's just like, oh my god! And I know he tried to eat. It was funny for after the Virginia Tech massacre. Yeah. Uh, he tried. He came on. And they brought him on as a video game expert. Oh. He, my god. he has his credentials. And uh, he was trying to say that Cho or whatever uh, was, uh, he trained himself on Counter-Strike. He's like, I I have reports from his roommates and stuff like that that said he was a very avid Counter-Strike player. And he, this messed with his mind and stuff like that. And then uh, the reporter's like, actually, uh, I interviewed the uh, roommate myself and I asked him the same question. He uh, said differently. He said that he never played any games. He just kind of sat and wrote a lot. And Jack Thompson was like, um, well, well, my reports are pretty solid. It's just like, oh, my God, he's fucking <laughs> And bombed, I know they brought, they, they brought him on G4 and I had was... him debate with Adam Sessler. How about this? Why, the... don't, why don't they just do this? Have someone sit there and play at first race and shooter for a week or two. Then give him a gun. Have him go out to the shooting range and see how he does. Do he Maybe do like before and after. And after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See but if like, he can reload it and everything yeah. on his own. Yeah, the fu- the funny thing though is like the Adam Sessler debate, he fucking destroys Jack Thompson. <laughs> it's so funny, and they actually Adam had a Sessler spot. Is not a smart man. <laughs> oh no, he's not. <laughs> he's a very, I'd say he's a pretty eloquent speaker though. Yeah. at least in terms of debating. Oh yeah, definitely. He's but just, uh, I don't think he's that good at anything. But yeah, I, just, I know, I know the big thing he was talking about, like they had, the, and then afterwards they had the spot on G4 about Jack Thompson. They, like, made him, like, all buff and shit. <laughs> and it's just, like, his war personal vendetta against video games. And then uh, they have him, like, in the debate. And they, like, have him just sitting there, like... They put this dude who's, like, just a stand-in for Thompson. He's just sitting there, like, shirt off. His, bo- his, his fucking pecs are, like, bouncing, like... <laughs> and that Sessler, he's just, like, pretty much... He's, like, you're trying to blame all these things on violent... Like, all these violent crimes on video games, which have been happening since before the existence of Pong. Yeah. And like then it shows him like getting angry. He's just like, I remember back, 1974, two guys grabbed my brother. They're hitting him back and forth, and back and forth. 
and then they just it's just like it's like the pong based murder. It's like and since that day, I've set a war against violent video games. It was one of the best spots I'd ever seen in G four in my life. Man, yeah, since just because all of his ridicules have been so ridiculous, they they revoked his lawyer's license. That's right. Like, he is not a practicing lawyer anymore. That's right. I know his sons and stuff like that. They like don't mention like that's his dad. I would like, need. They're they're embarrassed by it. I would be. That's that's awful. Like, do these people even like play these games or watch these movies or listen to this music? Yeah, that's that supposed whole... to be corrupting these children. Yeah, the whole Mass Effect thing. I remember for Fox News they had a uh, woman psychiatrist come on, and what? she was like. She was saying how it was like so demeaning to women and stuff like that. And then they had a guy from Microsoft come on. He's just like, first of all, you can be a woman and save the universe. We give you the full option to be a female shepherd and do all that stuff. And then, like, I know at one point, he's like, actually, I have to really ask you guys, have any of you played the game? And all of them are like, no. And he just gives, like, this look like, well, what, why am I here? <laughs> and then, the fe- but, like, the Fox News people... I mean, they're they're Fox News, but uh, the female psychiatrist afterwards went and watched the sex scene in the first game, and mm. she publicly apologized. That's right. She's, it wasn't it wasn't like vulgar. It was yeah, she, good. like pretty much. She's like, I've seen worse stuff on Lost. Like that's what she said. And but Fox News never apologized, which is funny. Fox News are a bunch of cock sucking blowhards. Idiot. Did you see? Uh, this there's something to at uh. I forget what it's called, but it's like that big dinner that they have for the president. Like, president's dinner. I forget yeah. what it's called. But anyway, it's like... Bro, bro. Dollar night at McDonald's. But uh, anyways, they had... Uh, Obama came out with like his birth... Because, you know, everyone's giving him shit about his birth certificate. And then uh, they're like, in case that doesn't quell everybody, I have my official birth video. <laughs> what? And, they play, and then they play Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> On the screen. Nice. He's all laughing, and then he goes, oh, oh, by the way, to the people at the Fox News table, this is a joke. <laughs> Trolled hard. <laughs> it's like, this was, <laughs> this is not my official birth video. Go to Disney. I think they have the full thing there. <laughs> I'm yeah, proud of my life. <laughs> I my father was lost to a stampede. <laughs> And I had to rally. <laughs> it was just like it was just hilarious. Like he's like the theater or whatever they're in gets dim, and it's ah, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like uh, I said, trolled hard. Yeah. Fox and parents just like to blame whatever they can, except their own failings on their yeah. children being as corrupted or bad or whatever they are. Or in this case, stupid. Yeah, stupid. Yeah. Right, right, we're we are over an hour now, so I guess we should wrap up now. This is a very interesting podcast going from, you know, racism to... The Hulkster. <laughs> fighting to... Hulkamania in her ring. Uh... <laughs> to parenting. I think, I think we got the full spectrum. I think, <laughs> I think we got the full spectrum. Everything All right. we'll ever need. Yeah. So that proceed never showed up. Oh, he, <laughs> sh- oh, he showed up. Once. For like half a second. Yeah. So, yeah. So you know, proceed. I hope you're nice and drunk somewhere in a room <laughs> with Kev. I am. <laughs> I, he's like, I fuck yeah, I am. I can hear you, low. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can. He's just sitting there going, yeah. But uh, I feel a disturbance in the force. All right, <laughs> I feel a disturbance in the force. All right, anything to add, guys, before we sign off? Silence. Silence. All right. That's what we add. Silence is deadly. Silence is deadly. No place is safe. Safe house. (laughs) (laughs) Rangers together, samurai forever. That's the stupidest slogan I've ever seen in my life. No place is safe. Safe house. That is the actual title of the That that was the actual poster slogan for that movie. No one is safe in this safe house. And why is it a safe house? We couldn't change the nameplate. They didn't say in the safe house. No one is safe. Safe house. It's like it's like that movie Silent House. Silent House. Loud as crap. If only. That's uh, all I got to ask. People, if you <laughs> if you go to Burger King, don't order the wrap. We don't like making it. We really don't. 
it takes too long for just a dollar fifty cents. If you go to Burger King where D A and B G live, ask to see one of them at the register, please. At the Renaissance Center in Detroit, Michigan. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Your name is King and you work at Burger King? It. Hilarious. Ask, ask them to edit your burger. <laughs> <laughs> I want clan ad in my burger. I want Pee Wee Herman. I saw you use it. <laughs> More effects. In this very st- in this very convention hall. <laughs> oh god. Alright, I think with that we are gone. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I've always been gone. I'm just sitting here quietly. What? <laughs> Toodles. Yes. <laughs>